guys welcome back this is a modern man here today and today i am showcasing a quote-unquote budget aggro hunter deck basically the aggro hunter has been around forever in my opinion uh you get your high mains tundra rhinos the only quote-unquote uh pricier card in the deck is bitter tide hydra um i like it in there i used to never play with it but anymore since the format's leaning to be a little bit slower than it used to be so now i'm playing two bitter tide hydras Spellbreakers, Houndmasters, Kill Commands, Eaglehorn Bows, Bear Sharks, Animal Companions, Scavenging Hyenas, Kindly Grandmother is also a card you probably don't need to play. I know it's in the, I mean, whatever that trial is from the last set, One Night at Karazhan, something like that. Something you could replace it with is, why is it only in the one? I did, okay. Let me go back to the twos. Uh. Uh, something to replace it with would be Unleash the Hounds. This deck doesn't really have Unleash the Hounds. And I could easily see slotting in one, maybe two. Um, if you only want to play one Unleash the Hounds, you could play Deadly Shot's not awful. I don't mind Deadly Shot. Um, I also don't mind Raptor Hatchling. Gives you a little bit more early game. I know we have Dire Mole now. Pretty much took the place of Raptor Hatchling in my deck. I'd probably end up just playing... Uh, two Unleash the Hounds. This deck's basically common cards, commons, a few rares here and there. All good rares that you can play in pretty much any Hunter deck. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into a game and let's see how we do it. Rank 14, I think, is what I'm at right now. Gets an and one, so it's most likely Spiteful Priest. Maybe uh, Radiant Elemental version of the deck. We don't really want two alley cats, especially on the play. What do we get? Got what, Eagle Horn Bow, Bitter Tide Hydra. Bitter Tide Hydra is not well. It's not bad in this matchup. A lot of them don't play. Uh, what's that card? Shadow Ward Horror anymore? Of course they do. It's a one of. But a card we really need to watch out for is Tar Creeper. Tar Creeper is a problem. Oh, a Nether Spine Hor Nether Nether Spine Library? I forget the name of it. The one three if you got a Dargan. Uh you get a get another Dargan. The two dire moles. Couldn't just attack. Yes, they're gonna get a card off their uh, cleric, but that means they're most likely not doing anything this turn besides killing one of my dudes. Oh yeah, they killed the ugly one. We gotta keep Tabby around. It heals their nether spine or the cleric. Probably gonna play Eagle Horn straight into it. I like to save my kill commands for cards like Tar Creepers, or, or if I get the chance to just finish off an opponent with them as well. Good draw here would probably be Houndmaster. Razor well, Razor Maw's not bad. You can hero power with it as well. They have what eight cards in their hand, seven now. See, now that card's probably going to. I'll probably waste my charge on my bow and try to add into it. So we get off from Macaw. Raven familiar. I have kill command in my. I think that's it. What are the chances my two drop? It's better than whatever they're playing. Attack with the Tabby. Attack for two. I'm gonna play the Familiar, I guess. Job's done. What do they got? Uh, free from. So they are playing Spiteful Breach, for sure. We really don't want them to get the six or five. Can't really stop them from getting the five. They have a coin. Best Breaker. I may have forgotten about that card. Card's pretty good. I think we're just gonna play the Hydra and pass down. Try to stay on curve. Probably a Spiteful Priest. Spiteful, Spiteful Summer, Spiteful. Oh my god. I'm a little sick today. I had to, I went to work, had to leave work early. I was vomiting in the bathroom. Now I'm recording for you guys because I love you guys. 
Okay. And if they're playing that, that probably means they don't have an answer. He'll command the player Bear Shark and attack. Something to note about Bear Shark is. I don't remember where I was going with that. It's not the best breaker. And a coin for a three drop. We got Stone Hill, host Stone Hill. Oh, poisonous. What is up with all these poisonous? Let's get a taunt, maybe? At least I could play it. Let's jump our Bitter Tide Hydra. Home him for 10. Am I hero power here? No, I think we developed the board a little bit more. Our hero power is countered by their hero power. And yeah, we take three, we go to 19. That's fine. They already played two Dusk Breakers, so. We're really. It trades there, sure. Let me change your mind. Shadow Priest, that's a good one. Hellbreaker. What do we break though? The beetle? I don't think pointing them matters. I think we trade into the poisonous guy. Break the beetle? Just in the hopes we draw, we could uh, line up some spells maybe. That would be our best case scenario here. I think we've gotten to the point where doesn't matter what we do. Yeah, they trade there. This is times where like uh, charge, of... charge of the hounds. Is that what the card's called? I forget the name. Hyena's not good. Oh, play the hyena. Pass. Winner draw nothing this turn. This next turn, we're gonna run scoop it up. Nothing really going on for us. Heals up, sure. Hopefully they just don't. We can draw a kill command. We can draw a bow. Anything that deals three damage this turn. Bow or kill command. Banyan does it as well if we get a huffer. Huffer one time. 33% chance. Give me a huffer. Oh, it's a Misha. Well, looks like we're dead. Probably dead. Yeah, let's go and scoop it up. So we're playing against Rogue. And I feel like this is a decent matchup for us, especially if they're playing Kingsbane Rogue. Definitely don't want to mulligan Alley Cat. I think we just maybe... Do we want to mulligan Tundra right now? We have one Alley Cat, two Razor Maw, three Houndmaster, four would probably drew something, five Tundra right now. I think this whole hand's fine. I think we're going to keep it. It's solid. Not too bad. I don't think... I don't know what else I'd be looking for. Bear shark, that's not bad. Now we have a three drop, so one, two, three, four, five. We have to dodge the that card. Get the name of the card. Oh, they got backstab too. Okay, so we played Jeweled Macaw and we probably Razor Maw that. Bloodfin Raptor. Play Bloodfin Raptor as well. Just adapt the Razor Maw. Uh, go attack. Looks like they're going to waste their weapon on us. They're going to take four. Phantom Knives. That's a good one. And they get a trade into the Razor Maw. Well, it's not looking too great for us this game. Bear Shark, pass. Have one. Play Miracle Rogue, maybe? 
but Phantom Knives leaves me to believe. Miracle Rogue. I'm trying to get one more use of Yogg-Saw on him. Attacking them? Oh, I thought they were attacking them with Air Shark. I main. Okay, so our courage has got a little bit better. Back to six. Pass turn. Maybe. Pass turn. What do you have? Prep? Oh, you got Vanish? Prep Vanish? This hurry. What? Oh, Vile Spine, sure. Makes sense. A Tundra Rhino. Doma? Last turn? Next turn, we're going to play High Main, whether or not we have the Tundra Rhino. Just because on turn 7, we can play Rhino into Raptor. Shiv, okay. That's fine. Ah, this guy's a toast. Okay. We're gonna attack into it? Really? A tactical error. I was wondering. Smart moves. And my opponent just scoops it up? Okay, well. We're gonna go ahead and get a third game in this time against Priest again, and this is definitely not a hand you want to get. So we're gonna mulligan everything. We really need some early interaction. Grandmother's good. Animal Companion's good. Spellbreaker's good. Happy New Year. Is someone injured? Hmm. Point out in Grandmother. I don't think it's worth it. Let's go ahead and pass. Nether Spine Historian, that's the card I was trying to. One, three for two. Priest card. Shadow Visions. Okay, so they're probably playing the combo version, the Radiant Elemental version. Jeweled Macaw. That would have been good the last turn. Um I think we play Grandmother, and if they want to trade into it, we get a dude off of it. So it doesn't really matter. Until they're all right. Oh, it does matter a little bit. I lie. Air shark's fine, but we have to point spellbreaker. Now the question is: Do we break the tar creeper or the or the cleric? Break the Tar Creep. Can't attack. Break the Tar Creep room so we can attack. Cast on it. Then they attack into the werewolf. You know, yeah, no, there's kind of story. They're playing the Wombo Combo version, most likely. Yep. Attack it with the Spellbreaker. Play Macaw first, see what we get off that. Your Tide Hydra. A good card. Um, let's go ahead and play Bear Shark here. Kill Tar Creeper, pass on. The reason I didn't play Animal Companion because Misha doesn't really, Misha doesn't really do anything. Neither does uh, Loki. Leoc. Leoc. So here we can play our second macaw. Get a dusk board. That's not bad for later in the game. Not the greatest card. We're gonna Houndmaster Bear Shark. Bear Shark Twilight. Spellbreaker the Historian, past turn. I mean this walks us right into the Dusk Breaker, but. Didn't really have any other option there. Twilight Drake's too much of a combo centric card, quote unquote. You have get... Oh, opponent just scoops it up. Look at that. Stole two wins. Playing gets rogue again. I don't think we can steal another win. I also don't think that hand's that great. So we're gonna mulligan everything. Hedger Rhino is definitely a card you don't want to see in your opening hand. You don't really ever want to see two Savannah High Mains in your opening hand. Or a Razor Mar with nothing to adapt. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Probably gonna play Bear Shark next turn. I don't think playing Razor Mars is gonna do anything unless we draw a Dire Mole, which we did not. Let's go ahead and coin out Bear Shark. Pass down. Oh, there's the lovely train as always. What do you got? Can't target it with anything, my guy. So we're gonna razor maw the bear shark. Hopefully draw one drop here. Oh, drew another hound master, which isn't bad. If we plan on loading up the bear shark. Uh, plus three attack seems alright. Oh, okay. Priest again. Um we have some early game. I don't think we want Rhino. We want Razor Maw. Razor Maw is a lot better if we have a one drop. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and mulligan it. Watch you draw one drop. Oh yeah, Drew. Dire Mole and a Bitter Tide Hydra, sure. Uh, there's another Razor Maw. Okay, not too bad. Play the Dire Mole. Pass turn. If they play a Cleric. Hopefully we razor them all out, poisonous, or plus three attack. Is this the same priest we played last time? Might be. Alley cat, sure. Let's go ahead and razor them all the dire mall. Plus three health doesn't really do anything to find shield. Let's just go plus one, plus one. I'm gonna attack past turn. If they want to heal their cleric, they can. We'll just trade the Razor Maw into it. That's fine. Draw your card. Pass turn. Okay, we can either play Grandmother Alley Cat or Bears. Huh. I like the Grandmother plan more because it protects us from... Uh, that card, I don't think. That's great. Attack Cleric, attack the Noggin. Put him down to 26, go ahead and pass turn. Point out Duskbreaker. Is this it? There's the coin. Is it the Duskbreaker? Yep. Probably trade into the 3 3, drew another Bear Shark. Trade, Bear Shark, pass. This deck would be a superb deck, in my opinion, if it wasn't for Duskbreaker. Card is very good. Be this Priest of the Feast. The card. Okay. Um, I guess we just play Bitter Tide Hydra because Animal Companion doesn't really do anything. It'd be basically getting a Misha, not a Misha, Huffer, trading it into the Priest. I guess Misha would have been good too. I didn't think about that. Spellbreaker. We can break the priest. I think I'd rather trade into the priest. A huffer? Nope, not a huffer. The bear shark. Guess we just mine him. Faster. 13's uh definitely a number. Definitely a number. So I think they might actually have to kill the Leoc. Because if we have Unleash the Hounds. Well, maybe that doesn't matter if they have to trade both their guys into the Bitter Tide Hydra. I wonder. This is probably your hardest matchup, in my opinion. Greater healing potion, okay. It's a 15-point swing. No big deal. They do want to kill the Hydra, sure. That's fine. It was all the way up to 30. Fantastic. Houndmaster Leoc. The reason I think we Houndmaster Leoc and not Bear Shark is Dragonfire Pope. 
I think Dragon Fire Potion kills it anyways. No. Anyways, we're gonna pump the Bear Shark because dodge is best way. Which we know what happened there, Dad. What's that? 14 points of damage next turn. If they heal, they go to 21. If they don't heal, we can draw a kill command and win. Psychic spray, sure. Tundra Rhino, I don't mind that. Last turn, keep the Spellbreaker for something big. The Grand Archivist. City and Statue. Primordial Drake. That's a, that's a card to save one for. Uh, let's go ahead and Spellbreaker that. Your magic shall not save you. Uh, die alone. Poke him. Back to the fight. What about 10? Probably kill the Tundra I right know. Well, they might actually kill Spellbreaker? No. I think it's Tundra Rhino. Probably because you have Holy Nova in your hand. Makes sense. Get another healing potion? Okay. I don't... I don't... I don't know how I'm feeling about this game anymore. Um... Full command of Primordial Drake. An attack for me. Hero power pass. The best outcome we could have is maybe stringing together some jeweled macaws for some big beasts. Maybe some high mains. Uh, that's hard. Sure. Okay. Tundra Rhino. Okay. I'm fine with keep drawing those. I prefer to draw a. I main after them, but 19 cards left, so it's a 10% chance. I mains, jeweled macaws. Probably about it. Maybe a bitter tide hydra. We're still in it though. Maybe not anymore. Looking a lot less good now. What do you get? Animal campaign. Not like we can keep it, so let's go ahead and play it. Hero power, attack three. Pass turn. That's the one downfall of this deck is you pretty much lose late game. I mean, sometimes you can pull a rabbit out of your hat, but... Not most of the time. Dragonfire is fine. Probably dead. I'm going to give it a draw. Maybe two. Uh, let's go ahead and play Bear Shark. Trying to put some power on the board. Down to 15. We're on a three turn clock. They're on a four turn clock. Does this refresh automatically? Not all. And we're dead. Lost. Yeah, Mind Blast? Yep, we're dead. Well, as I was saying, Priest is probably this deck's worst matchup currently. But this is my take on uh, Budget Hunter, quote unquote Budget Hunter. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you guys want to see me do any other budget decks, let me know down below as well. Or if you have any other decks that you would like to see me play in general, let me know down below. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good night, and I will hope to see you sometime soon.